Hi y'all, I like, I'm already crying. <sighs> I was in a better mood, okay. <sighs> okay, well, um, I think there's just no way that I even get through this without crying. <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram, you probably already know, but a month ago, like this week, the end of January, my little brother passed away. <sighs> I needed it to just take the last like month off of filming, obviously, because I can't do anything without crying. <sighs> I'm gonna talk about it more in like an upcoming podcast episode that will go up the week that you guys are um, seeing this. I'm obviously like so devastated and so heartbroken. <sighs> oh my God, I really thought I was gonna be able to do this without crying. <laughs> we were very, very close. My entire family is very, very close. We lost my stepbrother like five years ago. It's just been like a nightmare. <sighs> and like my little brother was, the best person you've ever met and like this isn't me saying this because like you know when someone passes away and everyone's like oh they were so amazing like, whatever like i said this before i've always said it everyone has always said it like that was the first thing even like any like when i was calling my friends or like telling people that like knew him and also grew up with him they were all just like it's so unfair because he was just the greatest person ever <laughs> Oh my god, I'm sorry to like be so depressing, like I promise I will like get it together and it'll be okay and I'm not gonna be like, sitting on the internet crying for the next year, like I really am not. I think it'll be good for me to like get back to like filming and doing other things just because it gives some sort of sense of normalcy and Cody would like absolutely hate if I was just sitting around crying all day, like he would hate that anyone was sad over him, he would hate, like he would hate it. It's just I think sometimes when I say it out loud, like I obviously know it happened, like I obviously am like going through it, but whenever I say it out loud again, it like feels so weird. Or like when someone else says it to me, I'm like, what do you mean? Like Cody's not here. Like it just feels so weird. But anyways, I, this vlog is not gonna be about that. I'm gonna record a um, like episode that's gonna go up, just kind of um, talking a little bit more about it, just because I feel like it'd be so weird if I just like came back and like said nothing. Cody would literally hate if I was just like sitting around crying and like sad all the time like he would want me to be going and doing all these things. We also always bonded over like working out and saunas and reading and cold plunges and things like that. So it's like I really do need to like get back to all of that stuff. Like for the past month guys, I've literally been sitting there in my needlepoint chair. My room looks different. We'll get back to that. Um, needlepointing my life away. That is what I've been doing for the past month with a few exceptions. The only things that have really, like, brought me peace, I will say the first thing, if you guys happen to be going through this, I, God forbid, I hope no one listening or watching this video is, but if you're going through any sort of grief, or honestly, just, like, an interesting read, the book Imagine Heaven, I'm- Hi. Oh, hi. Fitz has actually not been- he's been, uh, kind of ignoring me the whole time. We've obviously had a lot of family and friends in town, and he's loved all the attention, so it's sweet of him to show me some sort of- Empathy. Okay. Hi. <laughs> okay, do you want to sit here? Thank you, Fitzy. I'm going to move my coffee, but thank you. Okay, so the book Imagine Heaven, I'm only like 40% of the way through, but like it really, really, really helps me. And just to have like some sort of like an idea, and it's a bunch of people who've had like near death experiences and like gone to heaven and like their experiences with it, um, it like really helps. And then it's literally been needle pointing and then just working on like home stuff, which I've really just been in bed needle pointing, I'm not gonna lie, but I have made some improvements. Um, as you can see, I've finally done my room. So anyways, I'm just gonna take you guys through some of the home updates, some of my needle pointing projects, things that we've been doing. Um, I, yeah, I mean, I'm obviously gonna be very sad probably for the rest of my life. Great. Hi. But I don't want my YouTube channel to be like the most depressing place in the world. I want it to be like an escape for even myself at this point. Oh, I have so many garden updates too. Molly is coming for a week and then Brooke, Danielle, and TK are coming for a couple days in between that too. So maybe I'll vlog a little bit of that just because I feel like it'll be easier for me to vlog like more normal things. I had to go to Austin um, yesterday like just for the day really or the night. Really quick trip with Macy for a recording that we'd already had like booked and contracted and scheduled. So I had to, hi, I had to get that done. And I came home last night and I was so exhausted and we had shot something. Like I had like two things that I had to do with like other people. Um, all people that I like love, like it wasn't like a problem, but I got home last night and I was so exhausted. Like 
oh my god anyways i am really lucky to have like an amazing family and the best friends ever um it's just been obviously the worst time probably of my life i hope this is the worst like if it gets worse i swear to god hello um he really is just showing this for the camera like he's not been this comforting guys i swear yeah there's a lot of things that i want to say and a lot of things i want to do it's just like not the place right now but thank you guys to everyone who sent me like the kindest messages and everyone's just been like so above and beyond nice and like I like don't even think I've ever cried on YouTube before. This is warranted, sure, but Cody, when he was little, he was always so supportive of my YouTube channel. He loved YouTube. We would always also bond on that. And he would like come in and tell me how many subscribers I had and like all of that stuff. I can't like ever retell this without sobbing, but anyways, I mean, we're already here. I was getting messages from y'all being like, I'm so sorry for your loss. Like as much as I feel like I grew up with you, I feel like I also grew up with Maddie and Cody and just like how much you guys love them. And love Maddie still, but it was just really sweet because I also don't feel like like as Cody got older like Cody would stay with me at my townhouse a lot and like would be over here a lot But I just like he as he got older I don't know like he like went to high school and like didn't want to be in the videos anymore Because he was like in high school and then um, I mean there was like some things that he was in like I know he was in like the lake house vlog like literally two months ago And like just like, a couple things but like normally when he would come stay with me like we wouldn't really film now I kind of regret that. Not really though, like, I really don't. <sighs> but anyways, I don't know how to transition this. I'm gonna like get in a little bit of a better mood, but I have a lot of home projects to show you guys. And um, anything home, it's just the most like therapeutic, comforting thing to me ever. Like whenever I'm home too, I feel like this is like a magical oasis and I feel like a lot better. And then I leave my house and I'm like, okay, I can't do this. Um, but with that being said, I did make some moves on some home projects because it did make me feel better. I don't know. Something about home is just always so comforting to me. I literally have a home brand, a friend of mine. So, um, yeah, I've never even been more passionate about that than I am now just seeing, like, how much peace and, like, comfort it's brought me. And I know Cody would want me to continue on with everything. <sighs> oh, my God. Okay, the coffee's fine, but, like, I got that new coffee maker. <laughs> And I FaceTimed Molly the other day to, like, have her teach me because Molly really is, like, my big sister that I, like, literally don't do anything without her approval or, like, ask her for things or, like, help. But she taught me how to make the coffee and I think that, like, the grounds are not really the grounds that I want or something. I don't know. Um, it's, like, okay. It's better for sure than the coffee I was making already. I just personally have room for improvement, but she's coming on Sunday, thank God. And she'll be here for a week, which will be really amazing because Molly is, like, one of my, like, number one comfort people. Like, there's no one that I'm, like, more comfortable with in my life. I also just want to say, while we're here, thank you to all of, like, my friends who have been so incredible. But, like, especially Macy and Dom. Like, I can't even talk about that without crying. But, like, I called, when I got the call, I called Dom. And she flew in that night. <laughs> oh, my God. Guys, I'm so, like... It's like, I would just try to refilm this and be more calm. I just don't think that I will be able to do that. So I'm sorry for sobbing. Like, she flew in. I came home. I was at my parents, and I came home. And, like, well, I think they picked me up. I don't really remember. And I came home, and it was, like, Marissa and Lauren and Liz. And, like, Dom. Liz just happened to be in town. And Dom. It was just basically, like, my closest friends in the world. And Dom and Macy did not leave me alone the entire time. Like, we stayed here. We moved all the mattresses out to my living room. I obviously had like a lot of visitors coming and I had to like just get a bunch of stuff done for the service but um we literally just sat there I either cried or just like stared at a wall for, I really have been crying or staring at a wall for probably the past month I just like cannot believe this is real and like I will literally never ever be able to repay them like I don't know how I would have gone through it and like even now Macy is still doing like literally everything for me and I'm just, like, so grateful. I just, like, there's, like, not even words. Honestly, there's no words for, like, anything that I'm feeling. So, anyways. <sighs> With that being said, I, like, kind of want to refilm this. But, like, I, I just know I'm going to keep crying. So, like, here we are. I want to show you guys my home projects that I've been working on. Because that has been something that has, like, really been getting my mind off things. My mind never really gets off things, if I'm being honest. But, like, it's been something that... I don't know. It gives me some sort of, like, peace and some sort of comfort. Um, aside from, like, talking to other friends who have experienced loss, I just have experienced so much loss. And I'm 26. Like, I know I'm not the only person in the world who has, like, gone through this. It's just, like, still. We're gonna go. 
and I'm gonna get it together and then I'm gonna show you guys um, just some of the things I've been working on because we have a lot of updates and um, I'm excited kind of I don't know I like feel nothing at this point but you guys get what I'm saying actually I whatever okay we're just gonna get into it I also just want to say right now but like literally everything I do feels weird. I'm like I have to like title this video. I have to like there has to be like a thumbnail. Like I'm not gonna like pose for it. Like you know I don't know. It all feels weird. And also just what I've learned from grief and I've already lost two other like very like close family members. So, like some days you are have better days than others. I guess today I don't know if it's like that I'm not gonna have a good day or if it's just the fact that like I had to actually finally like say that. I think it's just the fact that I have to like film this. Um, I had to like work my way up so hard to like leave the house or talk to someone or do something besides like my closest friends But like it just takes so much out of me and I think like what I'm like dreading the most or like I don't know like it's like I feel guilty if I'm doing something and having fun But I feel guilty if I'm not doing something and having fun because that's what Cody would like want me to be doing like I can hear him Oh my god I'm sorry, I wasn't supposed to cry again. Like, I can hear him, like, sitting at the end of my bed, like, talking to me, like, how he always used to. And, like, I know what he would be saying, and I know what he'd want me to do. So I'm going to try my best. If I get one comment about how, like, my brother just died, I swear to God, I'm not kidding, guys. I will lose it. So anyways, if you don't understand grief, like... Also, like, people who leave comments like that, I'm saying this because, like, we've seen them before. Like, if people who leave comments like that have not gone through grief. Like, they have no experience with it, which I'm so glad, even though I hate them when they comment that. Um, I'm so glad they haven't gone through that, obviously. Um, it really is just a roller coaster. It comes in waves. Like, some days you can, like, manage to get through things. I mean, I cry every day regardless, but... And then some days I don't even have, like, the energy to cry, and then you just stare at a wall, so... Anyways, whew, I'm getting it together and we're going to show this. This is like show what I've been doing, but I'm getting it together. Okay, guys, I'm back. I think this is good as it's going to get. But as you guys can see, I finally did finish pretty much my room. I probably will hang like a couple like frames or something over there but this is like pretty much it this is what i've been wanting to do and then when i was like well i'm gonna be spending a lot of time in my room in the coming months i should definitely finish it i just i feel like everything in my house is done besides like my living room which weirdly is where we spend the most time and then my bedroom which is where i now spend the most time i just wasn't ever in here before and now that i've finished it i just love it like it's so cozy it brings me so much peace it like just it's just the best thing ever so anyways i did end up getting a tv which i didn't plan on getting a tv in this house just because i like am way more of a reader but guys this year i've only read i think like three books and like as i'm recording this it's february 22nd um so i cannot even like that is so unlike me. I was reading two books a week, but since needle pointing has really taken over, um, I have been like watching TV. Oh, I watched um, I'm, this is basically like mood boosters, Lauren Elizabeth style, or content uppers, if you will, whatever you want to call them. Um, I watched Lessons in Chemistry in a day, and I needle pointed away. I'll I'll get to that later, and it was just everything I needed. So, anyways, I did bring a TV in here just because I'm obviously in here all the time now, and it's a frame TV, so my art for it isn't even on, but. Here is, the, I always get confused on like, what's on, what's not, like, okay, well you can't even, I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys, you can't even really see it that well right now. It's uh, Monet, I'm actually an art critic now, so anyways, I got that, it's a 43 inch, and what a good thing, I grew up always with the TV in my room, like I just was like a TV in your room household, and now I'm so glad to have brought that back. So anyways, I have three frame TVs now. I'm such a frame TV girl. They are so worth it because yes, like they are more expensive. Don't get me wrong, but it doubles as an art piece, okay? And art is expensive. So like that's how I justify it and you can change the art out. With that being said, the craziest thing about a frame TV is that it doesn't actually come with a frame. So then you have to buy a frame on top of that. So this is from... I think it's like Frame Deco, Art Frame Deco, something like that. What is, oh, that's me. It's a little bit of my reflection. Um, and it was the easiest thing ever to put on. So 
love that like it's so cozy and then i mean this isn't like i have like a family photo here this isn't how it's gonna be like designed and organized this is my current needle pointing project this is what i was supposed to wear today and then i just have like gardening books and like these are obviously not going to be here but these were here before this was here so that's why that's that anyways um moving on to the wallpaper okay so i mean guys it's just so cozy no updates in organization have been made to the bathroom that is not my business right now but this i mean the drapes look weird because i have my door open they're from amazon 50 bucks i mean i need to keep steaming them they're not fully steamed yet and that is driving me crazy but overall it's just so cozy i got new bedding i actually cannot remember where i got that bedding from i will have everything linked below i don't know why i can't i mean i have like right now let me just okay Okay, so there's this thing called, like, grief brain, where you can't remember anything, and, like, you mess up. Like, I ran out of gas on the highway on the way to Austin the other night. I've never in my life ran out of gas. How did I not think to, like, I don't know, look at how much gas I had? Like, we were two and a half hours away. Maisie and I will tell the story on a podcast, because it's actually, like, funny. We ended up making it, like, a good experience. Thank God, again, Macy was there. This is what I'm saying, like, literally in my lifeline, because I would have... I don't know what I would have done. I would have been so screwed, but anyways. Um, I have no memory. I can't remember anything, and if you thought my brain fog was bad before... You know it's never been worse so anyways this is that um my wallpaper is from overstocker wafer i always get confused but i will link it below very inexpensive for wallpaper um and then i have a guy that i recommend in dallas if y'all are in dallas just dm me and i'll send you his rec but i love it like it literally could not be cozier also by the way this little pillow right here yes it looks like i'm in middle school i got it on amazon um just as like my needle pointing pillow and what a good buy i highly recommend to everyone i put it on my amazon storefront but like even if you like reading like let's bring back the middle school pillows you know so anyways it's all around the room it's really cozy and it does like just make me a little not happier but you know what i mean it does give me a little bit of like joy i guess sure why not anyways um, yeah, anyways, I'm loving, loving my room. Fitz is loving it as well. It's just been amazing. If, for those who are going to ask, the chair, that bench, that dresser article, the, um, the headboard, I think is overstock. And then my two nightstands are Restoration Hardware. I got them on Facebook Marketplace though. And then my lamps are at home. So that's what we got here. We have big updates in the backyard. Y'all are going to die. Okay, so this is my brother-in-law's idea. He has been the one who's been doing all my garden stuff. I'm, like, give, giving you guys a sneak peek. Um, and he was like, you really should get turf because I just... Like, I've worked so hard on this yard and the grass. We were just having so many issues. So, I got turf. It's from Magnolia Turf Co. I cannot recommend them enough. I had a meeting with them and it was installed, like, days later. And they did such an amazing job. It's 100% non-toxic. Yes, it's going to get hot in Texas. Everything gets hot. My normal grass is hot. You just hose it off, Okay. And this is another thing. Turf gate was something on my TikTok. Leave another hate comment about my turf. I swear to God, guys. Um, anyways, it looks so much better. Like, if you watch my TikTok or my Instagram reel and you see the before and after, I mean, my God. I hate the shadows right now. You're not really getting the full vibe. Wow, I've actually, like, really missed vlogging. Obviously, miss you guys. Um, but I feel like I've been talking to you on Instagram. So, anyways, here's Fitz waiting for his close-up. But... It's stunning. I wish the lighting was a little bit different so you guys could, like, get a better vibe for it. Um, this is going to be my cut flower garden bed, and I need to do, like, the weed barrier right there. I haven't set that up yet. And this. I probably will at some point in the vlog. And then, okay, Fitz, he's just, like, blocking me. Coming over here, this is the real showstopper. And it's been very comforting. The garden. Look at the progress we've made. Um, a lot of the rocks are messed up, so I've got to fix that. Oh, they, oh, they must have thrown that there whenever they did my turf. But anyways, I need to clean up a little bit back here. My mom got me, like, a gardening memorial stone, which, like, made me sob, and, like, I literally, anyways, beautiful. Glad that I had that, but now I have my garden all set up, and I have a lot of extra, um, just, like, soil bags that I will end up using for things. I need to just bring them back. I had them like brought all the way back here originally guys the i had like 70 of these big bags and like my back was in so much pain after doing this for an hour so i am 85 years old but 
it looks a lot better. I should have cleaned up a little bit back here, but again, the lighting is so bad. So I hate that this is how you guys are seeing it, but it's been on my TikTok too, if you guys haven't followed me on there. But anyways, this is the garden. Like, my backyard is just so peaceful. Like, it feels like I should be doing yoga out on the grass, you know? In the morning, at, like the hotel, when they offer that, that is what it feels like. And it's just amazing. But anyways, I, everything gets hot. You just hose it down and then you're fine. Like, I've had... I've been on turf. I've done that like whatever it, it will I promise you get fine or be fine It also never gets hot enough to where it's dangerous for your dogs. So don't worry I can hose it. I literally have a hose right there. I'll hose it off like it'll be okay. Um, but yeah, I love 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 the backyard. Okay. This is a mess out here, but I actually did get all new plants Look at fits always somehow in the shot. I'm hosting Alyssa's bridal shower this weekend, so this will all be cleaned up probably today. It's what I have to get on to today. I got some snapdragons. They didn't have zinnias. I had zinnias here that lasted all year and then finally died during the frost. Cannot recommend enough. And then I got these two trees. I cannot remember what they're called from Nicholson Hardy, which is my new favorite store. The two places that I have been able to leave the house for um, and I've gone to a couple of times with Nicholson Hardy, which is like my favorite plant store in Dallas It's so amazing. It's on lovers and then I've been going to needlepoint this which is also on lovers And that's been like the needlepoint store that I go to um, I also love shopper all it's like the first one that I went to this one's just like a little bit closer to me Um, and it was where Macy was going so I ended up going there But that has been if I leave the house like it's those two places that I go to um, so I got these trees from them and then again these that was just like an arrangement and then these are from Home Depot over here, um, one of my really good friends, Sav, got me a tree of life. So this is a southern magnolia. And then I got hydrangeas. I've decided I'm going to make the hydrangeas work around my pool because it's very shaded. And I think it's going to happen and I think it's going to work. Also, all these pots are from at home. I also got these. Um, and then I got that, those flowers as well from at home. But yeah, I mean, I really need to clean this up. Like all my cacti died in the frost, which is fine. I'm like not a cactus girl, so I didn't even like the landscaping on this house anyways. Um, oh, also back here, I think I got this from Epidemic Gardener. I'm assuming it's Vago Garden, which is where my other beds are from, which is, oh my guys, he's literally just like moving and getting in front, um, which is where my other garden beds are from. That's gonna be my cocktail herb garden. So I'm gonna put everything hopefully in one place. So anything for like garnishing cocktails and then like herbs, obviously. Um, I don't even know, like why is that facing that way? I think they moved it when they were working somewhere on the house. I don't really know. But anyways, it's a mess back here. I was charging my leaf blower to get, get down to business, you know? Um, my wagon, as expected, has come in handy quite a few times. And yeah, it's looking good. My lemon tree did die. I need to buy a lemon tree that already has lemons. Like that's what I need because there were no lemons coming from that for like five years. And like, who knows where I'm even gonna be. It's weirdly warm in Dallas. Like it's February 22nd and it's like 80 degrees right now. And normally like we, like February 18th, I think last year was our like ice storm. And it's normally like cold into like March and April. So, or like a little bit, not like cold, but not like warm, you know? Um, so anyways, it's actually feeling really nice out, which normally I would be like, oh my god, I love cold weather. Now I don't know if I love cold weather anymore, and I have a pool. So I would like to be able to start using that. So I think I'm okay with it now. Okay, going out to the garage. We also have more updates to come. This is not finished yet. For example, I have started wallpapering the, um, hosting closet. Let's see. Look at that. It looks so good. And then I hate the lights now. It, like, makes it, highlights even more that those are ugly, but... I'm putting shelves on this wall for cookbooks and certain plates, and then we're going to do a gallery wall here of different things that I've hosted, um, stuff like that. It's going to go all the way around through here, and then eventually I'm going to add a bulletin board so I can put, like, menus and things that I've done um, up there. So, that's exciting. Also, we're working on menus and things for a friend of mine, so stay tuned. My self-tan finger from my, like, I use, like, a face um spray self tanner and i wash my hands after using it like so much and it still does that so anyways okay this it looks like a mess and it is way messier right now just because i have all the stuff from the top shelf of the hosting closet here but i now have a potting bench you guys will see all this i have an entire video going up like very detailed about how i started my garden and everything that we've done so my god my grandma is coming today and she made a skirt like she sewed a skirt for all the way around here so it's gonna look a lot nicer and cleaner and we can like 
hide things. This is all organized. It just like looks so cluttered and ugly because it's out in the open. So that's going to be done today. So I'll show you guys that after. And then here's my little seating station. I will start an Amazon storefront of everything that I use. I followed a couple like gardening influencers basically and these actually have grown a ton this week like crazy but that's really where I figured everything out and then I bought some courses on like the Dallas Garden School and like I've done some master classes and things so anyways my grandma has really been the one helping me do grow towards the sun so I probably do need to move these up a little bit soon I got a lot of DMs from y'all saying they need to be like three to four inches above so they're as low as I can get but at a certain point, I think I'll probably obviously have to raise them. So this is my vegetable garden. This is my cut flower garden. This is my cocktail garden. And this is my herb garden. And it's going to be amazing. I'm very excited. And I'm really excited for the skirt. I'll update you guys once we have the skirt up. And then also once the hosting closet is done. Okay, the garage is a mess again because we had to move a bunch of stuff out of that closet to do the wallpaper. So ignore all the clutter. But we have the skirt which has made the biggest difference. My grandma made this. Um, we got the fabric from Joann's and then we just got these little like $5 like rods with little brackets and it's so much cuter. We have so much progress with the plants. I am very, very happy. I mean, they are just growing like crazy. Like I will be transplanting these very soon. Also, the eggplant finally came up. This has been... Honestly, anything home, anything needle pointing, anything gardening has been very therapeutic for me. Like, that is really what I've been doing and what's been, like, getting me through and giving me any sort of, like, I don't even know, not depression, honestly. So, anyways, this is what we've been up to, and the plants have definitely grown so much just in the past week. But the skirt looks so much better. I honestly think I'm going to get all of the shelving ripped out and get actual like cabinets or something just so it looks better and I have better storage. I could have cleaned this up before filming, but I just, I don't have it in me right now. So anyways, it's looking a lot better. All right, we've made a lot of changes in here. I'm losing my voice. It's about a week later, but it looks so much better. There's obviously wallpaper now. I got this wallpaper, I think on Etsy. Um, it's really cute. It's peel and stick. I'm going to do an entire gallery wall here. And then we have all these shelves with a bunch of cookbooks, which I love. That's actually the first recipe journal. It's a sample. I burned it with a candle. Don't ask. It has like a different um, little tag there. Anyways, I just think it looks a lot better. I want to get a runner. I'm still going to get... A little cork board up there so I can put all the different menus and things that I've had um, throughout the years. And also, I think it's just going to be helpful for planning if I'm doing like a friend's birthday dinner. It's like we can go through everything and see what they want. But anyways, this is still there. It looks so much better. Like, I am obsessed. This is like such a me shot. It's my leaf blower and a new box of Jacobas back there. Actually, I haven't unboxed those, so I guess we might as well. Jacobas sent me a new pair of boots. Jacobas is my favorite cowboy boot brand. Um, and they have the Abbey, which are their tallest boots. I actually don't even have a pair of the Abbey yet, which I was really excited for. I am like a wide calf girly, and these do work for me. For I get comments and questions about that all the time. I love them. Oh, those are so cute. So I don't have a pair of red boots, just like classic red boots, which is crazy because like as a child, that's all I wore. Or my red cowboy boots. Oh my gosh. And I even got Sophie a pair of red cowboy boots. So I've got to tell her that we can match now. But they're beautiful. So thank you so much to Tacobas. Everything I do right now feels weird, like I said. Um, okay. So needle pointing, which has been my number one helper. If I feel like I'm going to have like an anxiety attack or a panic attack or... I just need to feel good or whatever. Like the second I start needle pointing, I, it feels like I just like took a gummy or something. Like I'm like so calm and it gives you something to work towards. And I think just as like, I've never even like taken time off of like anything. Like I just, I love working. I love like having something to do. I, I don't know. I just like don't like just sitting around. Sitting around actually sometimes most of the time will give me more anxiety. So I was a little bit worried about that. So thank God I was needle pointing because I think it gave me like a weird sense of accomplishment because I did get through a lot of projects that I'm still going to. So I'm going to show you guys. It's kind of like a haul of needlepoint stuff. Um, 
and what I've been doing. I got this bag actually from uh, Needlepoint This on Lovers, but it's a Penny Lynn bag. I didn't even realize it when I bought it. This is a Penny Lynn canvas. And I know the color is different. My mom made me change the colors. This is for her because she loves the movie The Help and she would always like say this to us. I don't know, like you was smart, you was kind, you was important is from The Help. So I saw that and I was like, oh my God, I have to do that. We're gonna make it into pillows. My grandma, uh, my grandma, I'm actually like getting her to start like a finishing needlepoint business because my mom and my grandma owned a bedding and drapery company when I was a kid and I would always go in and like work for them and whatever. But my grandma's specialty is always in pillows. So I'm like, this is literally perfect. So she's working on my other finished stuff that I don't have right now that I'll show you guys eventually. This is one canvas, it's pretty big and I love it. I finished the white last night. And then I just need to finish the border and we're done with this one. I also got this. It's what is it called again? Hug me bags. It's just a tray. It's really nice to have everything. I have like my scissors, the thread that I'm currently using, my threader, needles, things like that. The one that I finished somehow in 11 days. Guys, also, I know that I'm anchoring my stuff weird. I won't keep doing this. This is just how I was taught originally. And then I was like, why am I doing it this way? So anyways, I won't be doing that in the future. But this one regularly would have taken me like at least over a year and it took me 11 days because I would sit there and needlepoint for like six to seven hours a day because it's all I could do. Like it's literally all I could do. Um, and yeah, oh, it's upside down. It does seem very dramatic for the circumstance. Actually, no, nothing about this is dramatic. This is literally worst case scenario, but I didn't even get this because I was sad. I just like the design the best and I think it's so cute and I'm so proud of it. I can't believe I finished it. I love it so much. So, oh, this canvas I got from Needlepoint This, but I don't know if they have any more. I go in often and I haven't seen it. So maybe like call the store before you like drive all the way there. I'm not really sure. Penny Lynn sent me a gift. I love them. They have such amazing canvases and it is a Cornelia Street canvas. Like how cute is that? And then I have this little um, like watch thing that, what are they? I don't know why I'm forgetting what they call these, but this is what I'm saying. Like, my brain is not fully working right now. Um, you just put your needles here, and then you know where they are, and they don't get lost, because they will get lost as you're going through projects. They gave me, like, a beginner's guide to needlepointing. I have a bunch of thread here, and, like, some scissors, all the things, and then another bag, stitches. These project bags are everything. Like, you need a project bag, and I love the Penny Lynn Designs ones. From Casey Needlepoint, I have a couple that are gifts that I'm not going to be able to show you guys because I don't, it's for family and I don't want them to see them. But look at this. It's perfect. One of my friends, Taryn, sent this to me because she saw it online. I've also gotten everyone that I know into needlepointing and spreading like wildfire in my personal life. Like I, it's crazy, really. Um, if you guys want to get into needlepoint, Follow Penny Lynn on TikTok because they have intro videos. Learn the continental stitch. It's genuinely very, very easy. Maybe I'll do a video on it, like a whole beginner's guide to needlepointing if anyone's interested. Um, talk about niche interests, but it's really, really not a difficult hobby to take up at all, and it's so much fun. And then when you buy a canvas online, just choose it kitted, so then that means they pick out the threads for you to match that and then send it. So anyways, this is literally amazing. Oh, I forgot I have a business call. Like 15, that's good. Okay, and they're just making sure. Yeah, these I can't show you because they're gifts, but they're cute. Casey Needlepoint is my, I also really like them. I have another one. You guys have probably heard me talk about this because it's like largely, the, it is the inspiration behind like the friend of mine recipe journal, which by the way, guys, we just sold out of our third restock. Like I'm so grateful. I'm very happy about it, but we have another um, restock coming. This month, actually, it might be restocked by the time you guys are watching, I don't know. But a lot of the illustrations are very nostalgic towards like my childhood. I feel like all of us like had roosters in our kitchen growing up. It's not really like a unique experience. Why am I doing it like this? Um, like roosters and hens and all those things just remind me of like my kitchen growing up. It's very nostalgic to me. And I found a needlepoint canvas that's like really big, I think, and it's hens and it's cute and it's like more modern. So my goal is to finish that eventually. Like it's gonna take me a long time and then frame it and put it in my kitchen. So very excited about that one. <clears throat> oh, <coughs> guys. So this one, this was the one I was the most excited for. I got kick kicker. What? 
I got Kit Kittredge, which was my American Girl doll growing up, and I love American Girl. I still take my niece there every year, and like I would go all the time. Like I have to like wait for like a kid who wants to go, you know. But like I could spend hours and hours there. Also, by the way, Dallas people, I think that they're moving to Park Lane, so like the store itself is getting better because the Galleria, like store itself the vibes it's giving are just not the vibes it needs to be giving you know so i think this will be good for them and they also have really not great cards for their like lunches like when i took so for christmas i think like a couple months ago like we were playing the card game and it just like was not nice like at all so a friend of mine should be their partner to make their thing so it's a great story i have all this like vhs it what i have all this like vhs tape of um like, Maddie and I opening our American Girl dolls, too, because we've been going through, like, all of our, like, kid videos and stuff. So, new dream. But anyways, obsessed. And I think I'm just going to have her made into, like, a doll. Like, I was going to put her on a pillow, but just because the coloring isn't, like, something that I would do anyways, I think that we're just going to do that so that Maya can, like, do a different thing. And then I just have, like, a lot more thread for other stuff. I have another needlepoint book. Um, I also got the stitches, the, like, white, the red on white text or whatever. I don't know where that is. It's not in here at all. And I just got me these. It's gonna like, um, this will organize on my thread, which is very exciting. Guys, like when I, you thought I was a grandma before, like this is all new levels. And then Morgan Julia Design sent me the nicest package of just so much stuff. Like not only did they give me so many canvases, they knitted, they knitted, they kitted them all. And I just like couldn't get over it. We have a bathrobe. If you guys know the bathrobe story with me and Molly, you know. Um, a spicy margarita, a hot dog. I think I'm gonna give this one to Lauren because Lauren is such a hot dog grilly. Oysters, Lauren's also an oysters grilly. This football one that I'm gonna make for my dad. And then a mud slide it reminds me of Nantucket. Speaking of Nantucket, my family and I are going in April, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, it's such a great place to needlepoint, you know? They have a great needlepointing store, so I will be going in. Okay, so another stitch book, which is really helpful. For those of you guys, most of you I'm assuming, who don't needlepoint, there's all different kinds of stitches you can do. Now, I only do continental, which is the easiest one. Um, maybe eventually I will get into the other ones. I'm sure I will because I just have never been able to like kind of be interested in anything, as you guys can see. So, yeah. Then they gave me all of these bags with all the different thread for the canvases, which is so nice. Like, that's like a lot of stuff. And then this cute little project bag um with a k on it and then it has like these scissors a threader needle so cute and then more um and then this project bag itself is adorable so um yeah that's my needlepoint stuff that's really what i have been up to i turned this entire basket into it just last night i finally like i had um so many like flower floral arrangements and like baskets of things that my friends brought me i think Presley and taryn brought me this basket um, of stuff and just like snacks and all this stuff and whatever um, but I haven't Fully been able to clean all of it yet, and I finally did that last night, and I got everything organized so We're making positive moves in the right direction, and I'm very proud of myself Also guys by the way, I am launching a website So everything's just like in one hub, and there's also gonna be like a blog aspect of it um, I know everyone's like, why would you do a blog? Blogs are like dead. It's an important thing to have, but I am going to do a blog post all about how to like get into needlepoint and like the actual canvases that I would recommend, the companies that I would recommend. My top three are Penny Lynn, Casey Needlepoint, and Morgan Julia Designs. They have like needlepoint canvases that are just like cute and more like modern and whatever. They also, I saw, I think this is a Penny Lynn one. They had a Luke, like the Luke's Cafe or Luke's Diner. Luke's Cafe. He would... If Luke Danes heard me say that, like, it would not go over well. Luke Steiner from Gilmore Girls, they had that, and I haven't been able to find it, and I really want to do it because Gilmore Girls is, like, my ultimate comfort show. I finished it, um, again, in, like, December, but I've been kind of watching it again, and it really is the perfect needlepoint store, or show, so. Anyways, um, yeah, this has been immensely helpful i think it's such an amazing hobby and it's really cute you can use these things like you can frame them you can put them on pillows you can make oh my god guys i saw that you can make picture frames like i need to do that you i mean the, there's literally so many things you can do people do like over kleenex boxes they do little um like keychains they do passport holders i mean like there's so many things purses like so much 
you can do with it and I am very excited so that is my needle point stuff and it has been a very very therapeutic all right y'all that is it for this video basically just like a grief catch up where I've been video um there will be a podcast episode up on Thursday and then we will be back to other videos so love you guys and I will talk to you soon